Hello everybody, my name is Tarina and today I am going to be doing a book haul. Excuse me while I fidget. Um, so I mentioned before in a video that I would have posted maybe yesterday, maybe just a few hours before this, that I am filming a few videos all at once, which is why I'm wearing the same shirt. Um, today I'm going to be filming a haul of books that I got at a library sale. Um, I had a wonderful opportunity to work with some booksellers. Um, at this sale they go to this library and it, all the books are like a dollar and fifty cents a piece and it's madness. It's like Black Friday madness. Um, I got 15 books. I will be showing you 13 of these books. Two of them are for the boyfriend who is downstairs and he may or may not watch this video so I'm just not going to show those. First, as a gift, I am go I have The Rainbow Fairy Fairy Book by Andrew Lang. This I have a um a collection of Andrew Lang fairy tales as well. Um it's just a bunch of fairy tales. Andrew Lang went around the world and he collected fairy tales. So a lot of the fairy tales that we know and love, um, the history of Jack the Giant Killer, you know? Um, East of the Sun, West of the Moon, which is my personal favorite fairy tale of all times. Um, Hansel and Gretel, Three Little Pigs, uh, just the Master Cat, which is Puss in Boots. So just a cute little cute little fairy book for one of my nephews. Um, next for one of my nephews I have How the Seasons Came by Joanna Troughton. It is a Native American folk tale about how the earth got its seasons and it is really adorable. Um, the art style is very cute and I think my cousin, one of my little cousins will really enjoy this. Um, I have a little cousin and a little nephew who are both under a year old, so all of, most of these books are for them. Um, next I have Moon Mother by Ed Young, which is also a Native American folk tale. It is a creation tale. Um, so how the earth was created, how man was created. This one I enjoy so much. Um, the art is gorgeous. And it talks about how the first spirit created man and um, how that spirit met a female spirit and he started to neglect man um, because he was in love with this female spirit and the female spirit were in love and man, uh, all the men of the world were jealous. They thought, do you not love us anymore? Um, and so when they went to the spirit's house to confront them, they found that the spirits were gone. Um, the, the female spirit had become the moon and she had left um, for the men, her daughter, and that daughter was the first woman. And so um, from then on the children of the moon were watched over. By her and it said that when you are born you cry because you've just left the comfort of the moon and when you die uh, it is because the moon has turned its face from you which is a little morbid but I think it's very pretty the next one I got for my little cousins cousin nephew um, the little match girl um, by Jerry Pinkley it's Han Christian's Anderson tale um, this one is just the little match girl um, just beautifully illustrated. Um, I'm, I've contemplated keeping this one, honestly. It's really beautiful, and they wouldn't be able to grasp it for years yet. <laughs> so I might, I might hold on to this one and then give it to them at a later date. Okay, the next, the last one that I have as a gift is for my sister. Um, it is a children's book. It is called Night Song. My sister is 17. But she is a lover of bats, and this is a very beautiful little story, um, and I know she'll really love it. So this is by Ari Burke and Lauren Lauren Long, mm. um, and it is just beautifully illustrated. It is about a bat named Chico, um, Chiro 
is a bat named Chiro and he's a little baby bat and he's going out hunting for the first time by himself and he's very afraid because it's dark and he cannot see and his mother tells him that it is okay he can use his good sense um, which is his echolocation and so he learns how to use his echolocation and he can see um, everything and he he hunts and then he goes and he sees the ocean and he sees all these beautiful things um, and he returns to his mother and he says mother that you know I, I saw everything and it was wonderful and I thought it was very cute um, and it's just a very nice book like it just looks really nice this is like raised and embossed so she's gonna she's gonna love that um, next up we have the books that I got for myself I have here The Midwife's Apprentice by Karen Koshman. Koshman. Um, this book I've seen at Target a few, play few times. Um, apparently it's pretty popular. I read it um, just the other day and I really liked it. It was very good. Um, four out of five stars. I actually have it on my shelf naked because it's, it's prettier that way, I think. Um, yeah, this one, it's really good. I realized after I read this that I have another Karen Cushman book. It's called Catherine Called Birdie. Um, and I read that one right after this one. Didn't like it as much. But this one, good. it's a good read. Um, I enjoyed the characters, um, the story. So I, I think if you're looking for a book for a girl, I'd say anywhere from being able to read to... I'm 21 and I enjoyed it. Um, this one over Catherine Called Birdie. This one's very good. Next I picked up Mermaid um, by Carolyn Turgeon. Um, it just has a twist on the classic tale and the little blurb on the front here says Mermaid is one sexy fairy tale, a bittersweet story about the tides that tug at the human heart. Keith Donahue, author of The Stolen Child, I don't know who Keith Donahue is, but I love myself a fairy tale retelling, and I'm assuming this is a t retelling of The Little Mermaid, so picked that one up. Pretty excited to read that. I'm, I'm very excited about all of these. The next one I grabbed is oh, The Autobiography of Henry VIII by Margaret George. It is a novel. It is not actually an autobiography, which is very sad and very misleading because they had it in the section with the autobiographies. Um, I guess somebody didn't really pay attention to what this is. Um, it is a hefty, hefty, hefty book. It is. Who de allowed? Um, it is over 900 pages. Wow. Um, but I love Henry VIII. Uh, scratch that. I love reading and learning about the reign of Henry VIII. Henry VIII is a psychotic murderer, um, but I love this period of history. So many important things were happening, you know, not necessarily good or bad, just they were important. Um, so looking forward to getting to this. Oh, it's so heavy. The next one I got is also about that period in history. It is called Jane Boleyn by Julia Fox. This is the first book that I picked up um, at this little sale. Uh, it is about Jane Boleyn, Lady Rockford. She was Anne Boleyn, who was Henry VIII's second wife, murdered for witchcraft. Um, this is her sister-in-law. Um, this woman is... You know, I can't even really say much bad about her, um, speaking historically. You know, she is a turncoat and a traitor, but I mean, Anne Boleyn's father and uncle sat on the jury that condemned her to die, so I don't see how her giving fake evidence, um, I think maybe because she did it out of spite, she was very jealous, and they did it out of coward, cowardice, you know, they just wanted to save their own skins. She, on the other hand, wanted her to die. But, or at least that's the image that we get of her a lot. So maybe that's why she's, you know, the one who gets a lot of flack for that. But who knows? Um, the next book I picked up is The Princes of Ireland 
The Dublin Saga by Edward Rutherford. A saga of Dublin and it's haunted me. I don't know. I, I see this book everywhere and I always want to pick it up and I never do but it was a dollar and so I figured I'm gonna break the cycle. I'm gonna pick this up and I'm going to just end it now. I own it. Um, it's very pretty. It's pretty hefty. So, you know, hopefully I'll get to this. Um, <laughs> the next two books. Uh, this one I picked up because I could not have it in my house. The Life, History, and Magic of the Cat by Matt, uh, it's Madison Square Press. I don't know if it has an author. Um, it's just a bunch of information about kitty cats. And I am a crazy kitty cat lady. I love them. So I have this, just a little coffee table book that I have in my living room. Um, can't wait to start flipping through that. But I know if I start I'm going to read it cover to cover so I'm waiting until I finish reading other things. Uh, the next one is the same uh, sort of situation. It is Witches by Erica Jong, illustrated by Joss A. Smith. It's a collection of information about pagans, witches. Um, mostly just witches, obviously. Um, it's got poems, art, spells, information about, like, how witches lived, rituals. I'm very excited about this. I picked it up. I picked it up as a gift for my sister, who is Wicca, uh, Wiccan, but I want it. So, I'm keeping it. That's just that. Um, so that is all for this haul. Um, I hope I can get to a lot of these books that I picked up. Um, I'm very excited about them. And now I can go wrap these ones that are presents. Because I just want to be wrapping things. So, um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice day. Bye. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books that I'm going... I apologize. There's a noise. There's a cat in here. Alright, let's, let's get started. Um,